This time I'm going to talk about is WeChat. It is a command line IRC client. Um, so I was looking for one and I tried the popular one called IRSSI or IRC and I actually didn't like that one. I know there's a lot of people do but the layout sucks. Uh, well the default layout sucks. You might have to do something with it but as far as the, the default uh, I didn't like that one. And so one of my um, Facebook followers, what's his name? Eric Roots uh, recommended me to try WeChat, which is in your repositories if you want to download and install it. All right, so we could WeChat dash uh, curse here uh, to run it. All right, so we're gonna run it here, and this is the program. Uh, the commands are pretty much the same as um, IRC. So if you want to switch to this, you're not gonna have a lot of problems. Uh, like I think 90% is the same thing. All right. So let's do flash connect and then we connect to our server. We're going to use free node because usually all the Linux and open source projects use this. Uh, free node.net to connect and there we go. We'll wait for it to connect. My internet is kind of shitty today. I think because of the rain or something. Man, hurry the fuck up and connect. There you go. Um, oh yeah, if you want to change your name, because the default is your username, so let's say we change that, we go slash Nick, and then give it any name you want, what name do we want to use, <laughs> we're going to use um, The Undertaker, right, and now your name is The Undertaker, or my name right here is The Undertaker. Um, if you want to join a channel slash join now you can actually uh, auto complete this so you go slash you know type in like the first two letters of it join push tab and then auto completes it right saves you time to type it and then you want to connect to a channel let's say um, Ubuntu so pound say Ubuntu and now um, this is the official Ubuntu was it support channel so this is if you want to get some tech support you can go here if you like and basically this right here is the title bar I guess and over here on the right side uh, is your user list so they have some hotkeys here so let me explain here F9 F10 uh, is to scroll this bar up here you can see that it's cut off right here but if you use like F10 you can read you know the other portions of that's missing out so if you want to toggle that, or I mean like scroll back and forth between that, you can do that. F9, F10, all right. Now over here, the the user uh, names and stuff. If you want to move it, or you want to go like down and up, whatever, is F11, F12. Okay, so F12 is go down, F11 is go back up, right? So you get the idea. As far as for chatting and stuff like that, um, you know, you can say. Hello. <laughs> I don't know if they or if you want to, um, you know, reply to some of these people. You go like this guy was named Dash E or something. We we'll just type his name, the like the, the first three letters or something, and then you can go Tab to autocomplete it, right? Uh, and then you type in Hello or you know Hi. There you go. And if he replies back, then he replies back, but he's not doing it right now. Oh yeah, the other thing is if you want to, you know, scroll up the chat because sometimes there's a lot of people chatting, so you can go page up and page down, right? Uh, and I like the layout, like I said before. Oh wait, this guy replies back. You see that when he replies back, this thing highlights up on uh, his name, so that's how you know that they're replying to you. But I like the layout. It looks like XChat if you use the GUI program for IRC. But you can see that uh, I just think this one is better because in IRC it's just like one whole mess. In here you can tell like who's actually chatting. Like you see the person's name. If the, you have the green shit, that means someone's connecting in. Uh, someone's going out with the red arrows here, right? And this person is chatting, so it's just more cleaner to me. Um, when I use this and I can see it quickly right as opposed to the other one I didn't like the layout like I said 
Uh, what else you can do in here? Let's say you go to private message someone. Let's say it was this guy, Calix. Okay, we'll, we'll, we'll private message him. And to do that is slash query, and then cow, and then we're just gonna push tab, and it auto completes his name. And you can push enter, and you have a private message with him. We'll say what's, what's up. Okay. <laughs> And I'm not sure if he's going to reply, but if you want to close the window, you can go slash close, and that will close the window. And you can do this anywhere, okay, slash close, you know, and that will do that. Uh, if you want to join, like, multiple channels, you can do slash join, and you can go, like, Ubuntu, um, what is it, comma, and then, you know, the KDE channel, comma, and then whatever the channel, like, Kubuntu. And you can join all three at the same time, so you don't have to, you know, repeat the process of just doing one by one. Um, to navigate between them, you use the Alt and one of the arrow keys. It doesn't really matter which arrow keys. It can be up, down, left, right. It doesn't really matter. But you see, you can go between them like that, and it tells you the name here if you ever get confused, like Kubuntu, and then this one's Kitty, this one's Ubuntu. Um, so that's that. Now this is the main. Uh, I'm not even sure what you call this, but I call this like the the main window or the you know the master window that you do all your commands and stuff. So let's say you want to connect to a different server. So let's go IRC and Spot Chat. This is what Linux Mint uses. So we're gonna connect to Linux Mint soon. But SpotChat.org. Right. When you connect to a different server, um, obviously your name is back to the username, right? So if you want to change his name, we'll, we'll change the name here too, so you guys can see. Um, we use Conebone69. I saw that in Conan O'Brien. And there you go. Now our name is Conebone69 on uh, subchat here. And if you want to toggle between these uh, servers, because you know you have to uh, be on that server window to execute the commands for that server, so you can go Control X to toggle between the servers. All right, so in that free node, Control X, and then you have in Spot Chat. So it's going to toggle between uh, the the different servers that you have that you're connected to. And so from this server, we can join. Um, the Linux Mint, right? And then we connect to Linux Mint. Um, so that's about it for that. Anyways, let's go back to was it the, our main uh, window here? And you can actually get help if you don't know what the hell you're doing. You can go slash help, and they have different commands here. So obviously we went over query, but let's say you don't know what the hell that means, you know. You can go slash help and then query and then it'll tell you how to use it, right? They go slash query and then you enter someone's uh, name, whatever. They give you a different option. If you want to like put a server in there, uh, the, the name of it and the text of it if you want to send them a private message. Uh, other things, you know, let me see what else people might want to use. Like some of these other commands up top here, you know, if you don't understand what it are, you probably want to use the key command because some people want to change their key binding. So you can do that too. So, for example, if you go slash help and then key, right, they give you commands on how to use it. So they give you a little option of how to use it here. So they tell you key and then, uh, you know, how to use it. You can use it with bind, unbind, reset, reset all, missing, whatever. Uh, and they give you little examples down here. Some of them, not all of them, but this is how you use it: slash key, and then you bind it, and then the hot key, and then the command. Uh, I think that's about it. If you ever want to do this uh, to bind your keys, and they even show you a list here. If you don't know, let me see here. What is the list? Slash key, and then list. I think that's how you do it, all right? And they give you a list here of, of the keys. Don't be confused with these meta keys. It's not really meta. Sometimes it's the alt key, sometimes it's the super key, and sometimes it's the control key. So 
you got to figure out which one it is and um, I'll let you look at that you know figure it out as far as for me I don't really use IRC that much I just use it sometimes like once in a while um, so I don't really run any like advanced scripts or care about any other features um, that they may have but if you know some good ones that you want me to try it out let me know but uh, I think that's about for it for this one if you want to like exit the program all you gotta do is slash and then exit all right and that's it you're done with that anyways that's what I recommend mainly because of the layout uh, not because of the commands because the commands are basically the same thing as the other program I was talking about that's it for this one